Your Honor, I do not want to testify. I want the court to know that it is my choice not to testify. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Conrad Murray, Dr. Conrad Murray, refused to testify in court. He pled the Fifth Amendment. He then exercised his First Amendment rights and participated in a movie called Michael Jackson and the Doctor of Fatal Friendship. According to Dr. Murray's contract terms, he was fired because he did not have a medical license to practice in the United Kingdom. And if he failed to produce that license, his contract was terminated immediately. That's why there are no signatures on that contract. And they were due to be in the United Kingdom in seven to nine days prior or after Michael was found dead. I produced a movie called The Murder of Michael Joseph Jackson, The Perfect Murder. Because you cannot accidentally give the individual that much proof. But it started with CPR. Dr. Murray said he found a heartbeat. And if you found a pulse, which means the heart is beating, why would you perform CPR? You don't perform CPR if the heart's beating. But yet, that's what Dr. Murray stated that he said he did. Plus, under the contract terms, he had been fired. So I'm assuming that there had been an altercation between Dr. Murray and Michael, which he said he had one the morning of Michael's death because he wouldn't give Michael proper form. That is not circumstantial evidence. Dr. Murray can be tried again, and it's not double jeopardy. It's not double jeopardy by law and shot because after he pled the fifth, he exercised his First Amendment rights to make the movie Michael Jackson, the Doctor of Fatal Friendship after the trial. And the judge took note of that documentary during sentencing. Will Dr. Murray be tried again? Will there ever bring charges of voluntary manslaughter against Dr. Murray? You have to wait and see.